fascinating to think about literally making new brain tissue. It's so exciting to think about that as a possibility. My brother, Richard Schoike, um, when I was growing up was a playwright and he gave me the opportunity to act in one of his plays. And the play was all about change. And you know, when I think about our approach to research, we are thinking about change. When you go to the doctor today, you get treated for the symptoms of your disease. But imagine stopping disease progression and reversing it. We're trying to restore vision for people who are losing it. We are trying to restore cognitive function for people who have had a stroke. Well, my name is Molly Shoikit, and I am a professor at the University of Toronto in the area of regenerative medicine. Our research is really at the intersection of disorders of the brain and engineering, taking the time to understand the biology and the medical problem and working closely with collaborators. We could really design solutions that will meet these clinical needs. And so that's laid the groundwork and the framework for everything we do. One of the biggest challenges we face in cell transplantation is that most of the cells don't survive. So you can imagine transplanting cells to the back of the retina in order to restore vision. But if the cells that you transplant don't survive and don't become part of that neural circuitry, then you won't be able to achieve success. So with Derek Vanderkoy then, we've been able to tackle that problem in designing materials that will allow those cells to survive. As academic research, we're very excited about tackling big problems. We have the luxury of exploring and making mistakes and of pursuing discovery-driven research. And so it's a huge honor to be recognized, first of all, with people like uh, Peter St. George Hislop, who's a pioneer in um, neurodegenerative disease, and also to have our research recognized um, for its importance on its own.